This is a video in service discussing the TRIO CT Triple Lumen Temporary Dialysis Catheter from MedComp. It's uh, new to the market, came out last year. Before then, the only two on the market were the Mahooker and the Trialysis from Bard. And the Trialysis pretty much ruled the market for years because it way outperformed the Mahooker from Covidian. Uh, the Mahooker, if anybody's ever used them, they have a lot of issues with kinking and overall performance. You get a lot of phone calls to the IR department that their catheters aren't working. Uh, Bard came out with the trialysis and it was an improvement upon triple lumen temporaries. Uh, they had an oval design such as the Trio CT does as well. It eliminates the kinking issue uh, and because of that they uh, have kind of been able to charge whatever they want for trialysis because it was really the only well-functioning triple lumen temporary on the market but now trio ct is out it's getting great reviews from people that use it it inserts easily through the tissue even if it's scarred and uh, the performance can't be matched it's uh you know our studies show that the uh, pressures are 10 percent lower than trialysis at 400 mls per minute dialysis treatments and compared to covidian's mahooker the TRIO CT is 30% lower pressures at 400 flows. So that's a pretty significant difference in uh, catheter performance. The other thing that MedComp did was change the tip design. It's actually one of the only catheters on the market with this particular tip design. It's very innovative. As with most of their products, they, uh, they have a wide range of products at MedComp. And uh, they're very innovative in coming up with new ideas, taking a lot of feedback from customers that use their products, customers that use competing products, and they take all that and try to improve upon what's in the market. So this took quite a few years for them to get uh, engineered and get through FDA, and now it's approved. And as I said, we're getting rave reviews about it. It's definitely uh, the best performing catheter out there in temporary triple lumen power injectable catheters. You can tell right off the bat, the tip is like a double barrel shotgun. You can see how large those holes are. That is why you get such great flows out of this catheter. The other advantage to the tip design, as you can tell when you put a guide wire through it and it comes out this small hole here at the tip, uh, it glides pretty easily through tissue. Even if it's scarred, it inserts better than your standard conical tip. Uh, catheters like the trialysis or the Mahooker, those catheters, the wire comes out the end and all of your dialysis uh, proximal and distal flow come out of side holes or side ports on the catheter, which can be problematic because that can cause the catheter to get stuck up against the wall or shelf or uh, scar tissue, and numerous different reasons. This design, you have giant uh, proximal and distal or red and blue uh, dialysis holes here, as well as a smaller power injectable med port here, which is actually where the guide wire goes through. It also has plenty of side holes, so you don't have to worry about uh, not having side holes. It's very forgiving, this catheter. Uh, another nice feature is it has a rotating suture wing, which is a pretty common thing on MedComp products. If you run into a situation where this catheter is in a patient and a week or two after insertion they're having some problems with it or it's positional in the patient, you don't need to cut the sutures and manipulate. You can actually undress, take the dressing or the tegaderm off and you can rotate this to try to get some alleviation of the problem. It's, it's nice to have that option without having to take the patient back to IR, the OR, cut sutures, worry about infection from cutting sutures. Yeah gives you an opportunity to fix the problem without being invasive. If you look at the hubs, you have your normal dialysis hubs, blue and red, and then you have your central purple power injectable port, 5 mLs a second. This port here, you can give meds, you can take blood, you can power inject for a CT scan, uh, you can measure pressures in the patient if you're in the critical care setting, so it's very valuable. Before triple lumen dialysis catheters, temporary dialysis catheters, or even currently there's many hospitals now that, you know, they still only use a double lumen, uh, whether that's from concerns of uh, infection control, 
uh, or just because that's what they've always used and they don't know any different. Uh, what happens is you, anybody who's in those hospitals will know you get this patient from the ICU that has a temporary dialysis catheter in and more often than not, they need vascular access of some other sort. So those patients are getting, you know, a, a temporary dialysis catheter, double lumen placed either bedside or an IR. And then they also, of course, want some type of a central access for meds or pressures or antibiotics or whatever. And, uh, you have to bring them to IR and put a pick line in or a central line, or you have to pick team tied up at bedside. And also, more often than not, those patients that are on dialysis have very poor vasculature. Their vascular pass, it's very hard to get access. So uh, you're kind of, you know, trying to get two accesses on someone that may barely have one. This allows you to do it in one stick. It also helps with the patient satisfaction. Uh, everybody's worried about press gainy scores, you're sticking someone you know, two times, sometimes more trying to get access that, uh, does not suit well for your press gain. These patients do not like it. Families do not like it. If you can give them all the access you need through one insertion, that's definitely a bonus. It's also, uh, an infection control standpoint, much better to do one stick. You have one dressing to take care of one catheter to take care of in that patient versus two separate sticks, sometimes multiple sticks with two, two final access points. Uh, that's a lot of uh, breaks in the skin, a lot of uh, more risk, a lot more risk of uh, infection. You got two sites you got to change dressings on, whereas with uh, triple lumen temporary dialysis, such as the Trio CT, you have it all in one. And then if you're placing our Trio CT, it's oval design, the polyurethane that uh, is proprietary to MedComp. Uh, if you're familiar with our catheters, they're very kink resistant. This is also made of the same polyurethane. Uh, it's stiff for insertion so that you can get through the tissues, you can get through scar tissue, get the catheter in place, and within minutes, this uh, material softens significantly. So it's comfortable for the patient, uh, and it also allows uh, lower risk of trauma on the inside because it's softer and not stiff. If the patient has to undergo CPR, uh, this tip gets very soft. It's another fe nice feature of this tip design is uh, besides the double barrels and the way that it's uh, shaped to get through the tissues, it also uh, gets very soft in the, in the bloodstream. So it's less traumatic to the body. And uh, that's the Trio CT, best performing triple lumen temporary dialysis catheter out there right now. Uh, a lot of places are trying it and liking it. It's starting to pick up speed. So if you don't see it in your lab, uh, ask to talk to your med comp rep and they'd be happy to uh, show it to you. And granted, nowadays, it's a little difficult to get into the labs. Most reps are not allowed in the hospitals for in services, which is why I decided to put together these video presentations uh, for our customers in my territory. If anybody needs to look at uh, uh, to be familiar with a catheter, uh, I can't come in and do an in-service, but you can log on to my uh, YouTube channel and check them out there. That way your staff's familiar with the product because there's nothing worse than uh, putting a catheter in or being asked to put a catheter in that you're not comfortable with or haven't seen before. And that, unfortunately, is what's going on today with this COVID crisis. The hospitals are scrambling to get whatever they can for dialysis treatments. And uh, you may be using something else, and then all of a sudden you see something show up on your tray that's different. Uh, or if you know you're getting this, at least there's a way that you can be in-serviced on it by looking at the video. And uh, the base, this is a basic set that you see here. It comes with your wire dilators, 18-gauge needle, an extra suture wing if you uh, need it for any reason. Uh, scalpel, tegaderm, all that stuff. And the nice thing about these MedComp wires, these are 038J wires. Uh, most people are familiar with the J wire. This one is interesting because it has side holes if you need them for measuring, which not too many people do for temporaries, but it's there if you need it. The other end of that wire is actually a, like an LLT, uh, maybe a little stiffer than an LLT, but straight. So you have like a straight wire if you're used to using a straight end plats to put your catheters in, or uh, the other end would be like a J wire. Well, granted, this isn't as stiff as an Amplatz, but it's straight. A lot of docs all like the straight many docs or most docs probably go with the J, but you have both options. Saves you from having to open an extra wire. A lot of thought goes into these kits when our engineers come up with what should be in them and try to do our best. Sometimes there's things in there you might not use and 
Sometimes there's things you wish were in there, but MedComp's all about customer service, so just let your reps know uh, your wishes. It's, we'll do our best to try to bring that up to the engineers and when they uh, you know, update trays and try to do what we can for our customers. And that is the TRIO CT Temporary Dialysis Catheter from MedComp.